They've got to help out Maurice Baker. You take a look, three-point field goals. Oklahoma started fine. They're five of seven. That's what it is. The turnovers, an interesting part of that. 13 already by Oklahoma State. They only average about 16 a game. Oklahoma only averages about 12. Kelly Newton, big first half. Good start for him. Now you look at Baker with the 18 points. Want to assess what happened at the end of the first half? We were discussing what probably <laughs> happened, but in three and a half seconds, he was the length of the court and scored. That's one of those uh, where coaches say, don't foul, <laughs> but rarely, they never say, don't guard. <laughs> they didn't guard. Three and a half seconds went coast to coast, laid it in. We'll see if that gives uh, a little momentum to this Cowboy team. Dallas Price, jump step. Knocked away in numbers for Oklahoma State as Williams will knock it in. Oh, boy. What a dangerous foul as Kelly Newton ran underneath, underneath him. Well, and unintentional, and, and I'll say this. Those two guys grew up in Kansas City, played on the same high school team, and so Newton running back defensively. Victor was ahead, and that, you know, foot got tangled up probably with a body of Newton. Take a look defensively. Now, Victor quick, and Kelly Newton is not going to catch up Simply stops. You see the right foot just catch the jersey or the pants of Kelly Newton. And again, two guys that know each other extremely well, so nothing intentional there. Another look, and here's the speed of young Victor right to the rim. Now, fortunately, he's up. Looks fine. He's going to go out. Two fouls on Newton. Crawford will come in for Williams. Give Williams the hoop, and uh, Crawford will come in for the one shot. The foul on Newton, his second. First team foul of the second half. Missed it. John Z in battles for it, and he'll save it for the Cowboys. Nope. Knocked it right back to Price. A smart read by Price. Nolan Johnson. Ron when Young's in with to save that ball Hollis Price and you can guess either way the guy's going to save it he guessed right right to it Maurice Baker picked up his dribble and a push on Nolan Johnson Wow, that's frustrating Nolan had had active hands knocked it away from Baker once and then twice but once Baker picked it up and had his dribble left, Nolan Johnson closed in. Now, there's the active hands. Here's where he makes a mistake. He gets too close. He's not quick enough to guard Baker that closely. Maurice explodes right by. So two quick team fouls of the Sooners in the first 56 seconds. And Williams back on the lineup. Victor was shaken up a moment ago on that uh, play when he scored the breakaway hoop. And that's going to be stolen by Kelly Newton and then a foul on Melvin Sanders. Yeah, Williams got caught. Ron leaving his feet. Thought he had the jump shot. Quick recovery by Hollis Price. And Victor threw it away. Melvin's third personal foul. Haywood gets it back out on the perimeter. McGee. You really have to like what Hollis Price does for his teammates. His explosion off the dribble can either get the shot for himself or teammates. That time right to the corner to McGee. Take a look. Good hustle by Haywood. Now Hollis Price is going to go and attack, and he can pull up for the jump shot. Draws Jan in, and then the kick out. We talked about McGee, his ability to take people outside. Good face-up shooter. So it's a nine-point ball game. As we mentioned off the top of the telecast, Oklahoma State, not only for the Big 12 picture, but also for the NCAA picture, they need a victory, which would be number 20. Their uh, strength of schedule is not high, but a victory here, actually with Texas having won today, it would mean that uh, Oklahoma State would draw a bye in the first round on Thursday, and the Sooners would have to play.
The lob to John Zien. Off his foot. Well, they will mention this Cowboy team as a bubble team, but I think bubbles are bursting around this country every time they list bubble teams. A lot of losses today. Penn State, Villanova, Iowa. You know, all those teams that are bubble teams have been losing lately. Oklahoma State, at least, is on a four-game win streak. Haywood high off the glass. And I think they got McGee over the back. Yep. Third foul on Aaron. Of the standings again, Iowa State and Texas took care of business today. Iowa State and Texas. Kansas plays tomorrow. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, you see the numbers on them as far as in the conference. And the reason that Oklahoma State would get that number at least three seed because they would have swept the Sooners if they were to win this one tonight. But right now they trail by nine. Uh, in those standings, too, Missouri probably on the edge of that bubble. Most think they're in, but you never can tell. They meet Kansas tomorrow in the Allen Fieldhouse. Senior day for Eric Chenoweth and Kenny Gregory and Luke Axton. Kareem Rush going to play tomorrow? Well, all indications Kareem Rush said he's playing, but I haven't heard that from Quinn Snyder or the doctor, so we'll have to see. Victor Williams in and out. Wouldn't go. And it goes back to the Sooners. John Zian still has only one shot this entire night. Well, give credit to uh, the defense. The Sooners have double teamed him, and then Jan Zian, a solid player. He has not forced him. He's given it up to open teammates. And good defensive strategy by Kelvin Sampson and his staff make Andre Williams or Melvin Sanders take jump shots. Thomas Price. Not there. Good hustle inside. Shot wouldn't go. Sooners crash the board with McGee. And he saves it. Now this Sooner team attacking the offensive boards since they've come out at halftime. Tough shot. Aaron McGee. <laughs> Biggest lead of the night, 11. And Maurice Baker has to find now shots for himself. Young GN forced that one. Here comes Price. Bingo! And in the backcourt, the Sooners with a player down. Is that Selby? Boy, I have no idea what happened. Kelly Newton, beg your pardon, 22 rather than 24. Alex Brown, the Sooners trainer. Let's hope that young man is okay. the bottom part of your picture 22 in the lane and they hit the back and then the elbows come down it's hard to tell well he'll go out for a moment but appears to be okay 43 30. Ron Maurice Baker, again, he is 7 for 10 from the field. They've got to set some screens and get him open. This is an 8-0 run by the Sooners. Shot clock is at 9. Smart Williams play. to Baker. And over Heskett, not there. Well, smart play by Victor. You've got to give Baker the ball. Let him see if he can create. Johnson pulled up and took the shot. Shelby wanted the lob pass on that one. The alley-oop didn't get it. Sanders for three. And that will quiet the crowd. As Heskett went into the scorer's table just to our left, but he's up and okay, it appears. Important basket for Oklahoma State. Six points for him. It quiets the crowd makes it a ten-point game. Gets it back to Baker. 
Maurice. Fouled by Nolan Johnson. That'll be four. Three. Beg your pardon. Three fouls on Nolan Johnson. I think Nolan initially.